What's going on, everybody? For you, the Super Bowl has passed. For me, as you can see, it has not passed yet from the time making this video. My prediction's on the screen because I learned you never cross Tom Brady unless he's playing Eli Manning. But we'll see. We'll see how well it works out today. Other than that, I want to talk to everybody today about a site called Raz All. So if you split the word up, Raz is raffle all everything. So pretty simple. They, they thought it was a pretty catchy thing. What I'd like you to do is go ahead and pause on this video and click the link on the description. Take a look at this site and then come back, you know, hit play in the video. Because I'm just curious what other people's input are without me pushing out my feelings towards it right off the bat. But trust me, you're still going to hear my feelings on to it. So hopefully you hit pause and you know you're back to see what I my great there it is what my great thoughts are onto this site so first off raz the raffle yes most places are illegal <laughs> they set this up as being legal not too sure of the ramifications some states can participate in online casinos and all that so i'm not even going to touch that part if they're having a site and they're calling it legal eh, it might be it might not be I, I don't know i'm not really looking into that this is what they're saying. So you sign up for the site, join thousands of other Razzers, which I don't think there's thousands on here. Browse thousands of items, which I haven't seen thousands of items. And select one of the available spots in the group purchase Raz or choose the buy it now. Okay, got it. I had to think of what that meant there for a while. It says it uses random.org. We'll determine the selected purchaser from the purchase spots, and then the selected purchases the selected purchaser will be notified by email. My question is, how do I know it was ran on random.org if I if I don't get to see the actual rat? It's just gonna be emailed out. I, I'm not liking that part at all because all of a sudden some site's gonna tell me who the you know is gonna shoot the winner an email and probably lose us. Hey, sorry, you lost. I'm just curious how it goes. Has anybody been on this? Because I, I don't like this because I don't get to see the Raz. I don't know by round, any of that stuff. I just, you know, I didn't get an email. I must have lost. Uh, I, I'm just not happy with this thing. I, I, I just don't see it. Well, let's go more into this. So I was looking at it. They said they had thousands of stuff on here, right? Let's look at trading cards. I know it's a new site. It's not like they've been around for a while. Who is comping this stuff? <laughs> Basically, I can make an account and say, you know, I have this and I want this amount for it because people are like, well, I gotta spend five, ten, twenty dollars a spot. I'll take three. I don't know who's comping this stuff. So, here's my advice somebody wanted to make a cool website up, it looks cool. But there's a lot of flaws in this because I've been doing razzes slash raffles for a very long time. Heck, I was even a caster on a site for a while. So, one, I want to be able to see the random being done. I then want the link to the verified code so that I could also double check to make sure there was no hiccups on to it, nothing like that. I want to see that. Second off the bat, somebody or third, I should say, somebody needs to freaking comp their cards. I I'm just by looking at this, I think they may be off. I got you might have some shipping or insurance, but guess what? Eat that. You're gonna eat that cost. That's the purpose of a RAS. So there's a lot of places you can RAS, Facebook, Card Vision, all that stuff. Facebook, you gotta be careful. I mean I didn't know much about there were RAS, RAS groups on Facebook until I was in a certain group. And a couple guys stuck their neck out for me and I got into them. And they're, they're more, I don't want to say high end, but like super high end or anything like that. But they're all about who is who in the hobby. And people got to put their wallet on the line for you. Nobody does that on this. So I figured, well, maybe they just don't have a lot of sports cards on here. Let's look at NFL memorabilia. 
Ha, ah, again, not thousands of items, guys. Oof. And I'm looking at some of this stuff, and this is a Tom Brady jersey autograph. Authenticated by Fanatics. $180 a spot, 10 out of 10 left, or I could buy it for $1,800, basically. Nah, I'm good. Not trying to dump it down or nothing, but if you're just trying to walk into the Raz world, you really better have a lot more homework done because you're going to find out that it's not all it's cracked up to be. And there's a lot of things that people have been doing this for years are going to see wrong with this stuff. Electronics. Hey, we got a brand new PlayStation 5 on here. Guess what? $1,000 for it. Thirteen fifty for the other one. Can I buy these at Best Buy for five, six hundred bucks? I mean, I'm not a gamer. Aren't they now not like hard to find? Cause it's after Christmas. I mean, somebody let me know because I'm just curious. Because if not, they're trying to use the thousand dollars price before Christmas on to it. Same with this fourteen hundred dollars on Xbox bundle thing. And I swear people were buying the Playstations from the store at five hundred. Maybe I'm wrong. But if I am, please let me know. Like I said, I'm not a gamer, and I'm not going to research this whole site onto here. But I just happened to go by there. No Razzis. I don't know who made this up. But I will say this. You might want to go into some of the bigger Raz rooms that have been around for a while, not the rinky-dink ones that have not been around, where you're vetted vetted before you're allowed to get on and sell stuff and i'm talking about like i said two three sometimes four people there's raz rooms or hidden raz groups on facebook it could take you a year to get into a year here huh let me just go sign up real quick give you my name and all that stuff i'm just not thrilled by this at all and when i'm looking down here and i was trying to read basically onto this stuff there's not a real whole fact question on to here unless I want to call somebody in Ontario, Canada. None against that, but I'm in the United States, so if I have issues, I'm probably not going to be able to do some of this stuff. That's what they do. Submit, take it, fact, contact, customers. Oh, wait, there might be some customers. Become a seller. I don't know. If you guys are more into playing around the site than I was, feel free to do that. But please, I want to hear what you guys think about it. I think it's a crappy site. I really do. And this is for my advantage. Yeah, I can win something on fractions of dollars, but isn't that the biggest scam out there? That's how we lose even more money. I mean, I, I still get razzes. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with them. But when you start building stuff like this here, you know, versus to where you might go out and do a break or buy a box, you start seeing all this cheap stuff. I'll take three spots, two spots, you lose, 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 lose. Then you're in a bigger hole. When you're married. Your wife might come in here with a frying pan. Just saying. I don't know. But like I said, I've always controlled myself on rises. Now, I mean, when I first started, I was all into it because I was loving the thrill of winning and everything like that. But... This here, I don't see how they vet somebody to come on there. So all those scammers I've seen on Facebook doing uh, fake razzes, verifying that's their card from, you know, coin it. If coin is basically you put your name and date down on a piece of paper to show that, that whatever that item that picture is yours. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. Maybe I'm just too old school and i'm used to the way that you know either card vision's done it with their vetting process and people putting their wallets on the line for each other so if somebody goes bad somebody's held accountable for it i don't know what this site will do so again please let me hear some comments on this stuff if you guys have spent the last about nine minutes watching hearing me ramble about Razal. but somebody posted it I think I saw it twice now. I figured I would look at it. There's to me just a lot, a lot of different loopholes in it, which I'm not liking. I won't be a part of it until certain things are fixed. 
I think you should uh, basically, and if there's somebody out there from Razzle's watching one, I wonder how you vet your people. Because in a real Raz group, and I mean a good Raz group, one of the old school ones, you're vetted. Somebody's putting their wallet in line for you. So if somebody fake uh, sends me something like a stack of base cards, how am I getting my money back? I don't see any of that stuff on to here. Second off the bat, you just email the winner. Do you email losers too? Do I get the verification code from a verified account so I can see all rounds that were done and to make sure that something didn't happen in the system to where that thing was ran four or five times? So those would be my questions offhand. Maybe somebody from Razal will email me. Hey, email's in the description if you are. I'm just curious. Talk one-on-one -on -one with me. Because before I get a better warm, fuzzy feeling, I wouldn't recommend your site to nobody, to be honest. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good week. I got lots of videos coming out. There were some submissions coming back and stuff. But if you see two or three videos a day, it's one because I already had something plugged for that day, and two is because I found some scam out there. So, or two or three. So, uh, sorry if there's multiple days, multiple videos, but I just want to get information out. Plus, I got to do the video and all that stuff, process and cut and splice. And, well, you guys get it. All right. Thanks as always, everybody. If you're new, subscribe, thumbs up, leave some comments. I want to hear what you guys think about Razal. See y'all later on. Take care and have a good week.